1994 Range Rover Vogue SE. This one started its life out as a 3.9 petrol. It now has a Perkins diesel in it. If you check the website, we'll tell you exactly what engine it is, but it was a common conversion. And if you look at this video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was a common conversion, sort of what it still is now, uh, onto the five-speed manual gearbox as well. But it started its life out as a petrol. Now has the Perkins in it, and it is a Vogue SE. So to start out with a sort of top spec car, really. I'm not really too sure how old the conversion is. We'll start off with the bodywork. We'll work our way around the vehicle here. If you want any sort of in-depth photos on this sort of car, you know, I know the Range Rover guys know exactly where to be looking on these chassis and stuff like that. Just uh, give us a shout, give us an email, give us a ring. We'll, uh, we'll detail all that as well. So, bodywork-wise, we're going to start off at the scuttle. It's all fairly straight across here. A couple of little blebs on the left-hand side under the windscreen there. Right-hand side is all nice and clear. A little bit around the, around the wiper motor. And you've got pretty standard, a little bit of flake there on the gutter rail. We've had plenty of these through to know that most of them have that. As we come down the bonnet, these corners is normally an area of concern. No corrosion on the corners here, nice and clean. No issues with that. A few little dings and dents across it and a few little flat spots. The paintwork itself is, it, is in all right condition. It's been used, you can see that there. It wants a good old mop over. Uh, but it's a hell of a base to start with, especially with that engine in it. I can see various flat spots, but like I say, the corners are nice and clear. A few little stone chips across there, but no corrosion on those uh, bonnet corners there. As you come down, the light lenses are all nice and clear. A little bit of a crack in there, and a haze in that one. Sort of scratching on them, but they're all nice and clear anyway. The bumper corners are good, and they're intact. Normally they're hanging off. All nice and straight down there. The lower valance is good with the spotlights. Grill's all intact as well. As I work my way around, you've got the NS E alloys or the Vogue wheels on, three spokes all around. The front wing itself, a tiny bit of corrosion underneath the headlight there. A little bit of a ding and a dent. It's been used, it is sort of what it is. It's not hiding anything. You can see that there. Across the bottoms of the doors, a little bit of corrosion coming through there. But like I say, it's a good base to start with. To either drive around as it is or good, good start on a light restoration, this one. A little bit of a sort of scrapes at the back of there. Across the door tops, all okay. Normally you get a lot of corrosion across there, but they're all all right. Like I say, it is nice and solid, this one. Passenger, driver's rear door. Got a little bit of corrosion on the arch there. But again, fairly straight down both sides. A few little car parting things above the handle here. We'll jump up on the roof so you can have a look. Sunroof model, some light scratches on the roof, but a difference there. A good old wash and polish would make. Got some scratching above the pinstripe and around the fuel cap there. And on this corner here. A little bit of light corrosion on the rear driver's quarter. I thought have a look underneath there. We'll stick the camera underneath so you can have a look. Got the chassis there. Still on airbags at the back as well, and they are working. Which is a nice thing, I know a lot of people converted these to coils, but these have been put onto two switches at the back. So a switch for the compressor, one on each side. We'll show you that in a minute. So we'll work our way around onto the tailgate. We've got some sort of lacquer peel across the top of the tailgate, but the rest of it again, nice and solid on the edges. You can see that there as we come across and down the tailgate. A little tiny bit on the bottom here, the corners. It's just starting there, but not bad at all. I've seen a lot, lot worse than that, that's for sure. As I come down, you'll see what a tool bar there. The back bump itself looks okay. The lenses are all intact. A few little scratches and cracks in them, but they're all intact. A little bit of a dig on this corner here. That's the left-hand side rear. As we come down the left-hand rear corner, we've got patches of sort of sun fade and lacquer peel. But it is straight, it's a straight old girl, this one. A few little bit of corrosions down there and some stone chips. If you come round the passenger rear door, you've got some stuff, but that Ali Rash starting at the bottom. And some light scratches throughout pretty much all the panels there. But like I say, what a difference a good cleaning polish would make. You've got some lacquer peel at the top here, 
a little bit of corrosion on the passenger rear door and it is quite like there's some cracking in the lacquer on this side here quite a bit of sun fade on the passenger front door there as you come down below the pinstripe again some lack of cracking there as well bottoms of the door on this side tiny bit at the bottom corner here pull your finger across you can feel a little bit starting there as well the arch itself front wheel arch here is all okay normally get with a lot more than that on it and a little bit in here again rest of that sort of arch front arch there is nice and straight a few little stone chips across here but again no real corrosion coming through there and fairly straight down that side you've got a few little parking things throughout the doors interior wise with being the vogue se this was the top specker i believe back in the day door card is all okay orange are good clean a little bit of a crack there the seat has got some wear to the bottom of the bolt stick and see it's kind of got a bit of a shine to it uh, but doesn't it seem to be ripped or teared Back bolster again, a little bit of wear. They are electric. Uh, the switches must have failed to so someone's put them on a switch, but they are moving back and forward. And all the windows are working as well, which is nice to see on one of these. Dials, all nice and clean, easy to read. Dash top is all okay, nice and straight. So you come down after market head unit. This is the switches here for the rear airbag. So you've got left and right. Heated seats there as well. Got heated sweet buttons there. And there's that five-speed manual gearbox. Not much wear to that at all. Nice and nice and complete in here. Kind of, like I say, it's all there. Into the driver's rear. Again, the door card's all okay. Seats are nice and firm as well. The back seats there with the little added armrest, which is a lovely little extra on this. Back seats are in lovely condition. A bit of wear, but no massive rips or tears. It's obviously had some arches on the inner arches at some point because they are black but they're all nice and solid they're there they're salvageable that's for sure headline and sagging which is sort of a trait of these range rovers sort of joys of a range rover that's tailgate i'll open that up the the, uh, the rams are a little bit soft we've got a parcel shelf there they're normally missing i know it's a slight different color the rest of the car but they are normally missing as we come into the boot there you can have a look at that spare wheels there all the covers and side pieces are there like i say once a bit of a clean in there we've got some rubber mats to go with it there as well close that up and we'll shut this tailgate there we go and it closed as well normally the pins are a little bit soggy on the sides they don't really close very well passenger rear door again we'll have a look at the backs of the doors as well they look all right as well normally get a bit of corrosion in here Again, it's had an arch on this side. You can see that. It's better it looks like that than big rusty holes. And again, a little bit of wear at the seats, but not bad at all. The camera kind of goes a little bit dim in there. I apologize about that. Into the passenger front. Again, door cards all nice and tidy. No major cracks across there. Dash tops all nice. A little bit of wear at the seat again, but not major at all. Like I say, this Payton's engines was a very common conversion to do. What I'll do is I'll open the bonnet now and we'll get it fired up and stuff like that. Give us two seconds, James is going to come and start it up. We'll do the air, we'll do the airbags and all that sort of thing. Get a bit of dodgy camera work while I open the bonnet here. And there you have it, that big Payton's diesel in there on the five-speed manual gearbox. Just have a quick look around here. We're going to fire it up. Taking over quite happy there. It is a little bit noisy, but these engines were found in forklift trucks and stuff like that. Another thing to notice is uh, to notice, I'll show you the decompression switch on this now is there. That is the decompression switch there. That works as it should. The airbag, steering wheel with the pressure switches there, I'll show you that they go down and up. See that going down there. The 
take it a little, little while, a little, little while to rise but they do go back up. You see that moving back up there? And those individual switches. There you go. The Range Rover Classic NS SE Vogue. Now with that Perkins diesel engine in it. I uh, say check the website for the information we've got on that one or any of our lots in the next the next year up and coming. Thank you.